1024 Ranch. Yes, the 1024 Ranch, starring your radio and screen favorites, Dick Foran, Martha Mears, and the Sons of the Pioneers. Transcribed and brought to you by your Dr. Pepper bottler and the thousands of Dr. Pepper dealers from coast to coast. And here's Dick Foran to sing for you. He brings a token to his love. Long, long ago in old Wyoming lived a maid. Fair as the sweetest flower blooming in the glade. She loved the bandit bold who roamed the prairie o'er. And every night she'd listen for his call. Then far to the west his voice came ringing. Riding the wild horse he came singing. Healy, holy, hip, my holy, yay. Healy, holy, hip, my holy, hip, my holy, yay. He brings a token to his love. Swift as the wind he goes by in the hills he knows his way. He rode away, but never to return. Danger was waiting, now his love must ever yearn. Long day and lonely night, she waited all in vain. The winter passed and summer came again. Still every night when the moon came shining, for his song her heart was pining. Healy, holy, if by holy air. Healy, holy, if by holy Thanks. And now a few remarks by Art Gilmore concerning Rule 13. Come in, Art. Thanks, Dick. We Dr. Pepper folks have sometimes been accused of violating Rule 13. That is, taking ourselves and our product too seriously. Well, maybe so. Maybe we are too cranky about the ingredients we use. But we have a conscientious pride. We know the exquisite delicacy of the Dr. Pepper flavor requires the finest that money can buy. Maybe we are too fussy about rigid standards of sanitation and hygiene. But we are mindful of our responsibility in producing a food for human consumption. Maybe we do emphasize the benefit of the Dr. Pepper energy lift and its value to human efficiency. Maybe so. But friends, we think Rule 13 is a mighty good rule to stick to. We do take ourselves seriously, but not too seriously for your welfare. At least we think it's an advantage to you. What do you think? There's an old enchanted mesa near a valley in the sky. There's an old, old trail of winding to a dreamland way up high where you'll never find a teardrop and the skies are never gray. On that old enchanted mesa far away As you travel down life's highway And you can't quite find your way Just remember someday Happiness will come to stay There's an old enchanted mesa near a valley in the sky, and we'll meet there one sweet day, just you and I. Say, Miss Peggy, that was oh, really Ms. beautiful. Oh, Miss Peggy, you sing sweet as a honeybee. <laughs> you certainly does. <laughs> Thank you, Foghorn. And what did you think of Dick Varan's song? Wasn't that sweet as a honeybee, too? Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> Miss Peggy, when Dick sweeps down on a song, he sings low and sweet like a big old bumblebee buzzing around among the pretty flowers. <laughs> now, listen, Foghorn, you're putting the bee on us. I suppose you've got something to say for Bob and Lloyd singing while you're at it. Oh, yeah. Sure, Dick. Bob Nolan sings just the way a 
June bug lazies along. And Lloyd Perman sings way up high, pretty like a kickadee. Very fascinating, Foghorn. Very fascinating. But what about my voice? Oh, <laughs> your voice, Truthful Joan? Yeah, Foghorn. What, what charming member of the insect world does my lilting voice remind you of? <laughs> well, uh, to me, you're just a horsefly. <laughs> just a horsefly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him kid you, Truthful. Go ahead and sing. Yeah, go ahead. Whoa! 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 Skyball Paint was a devil saint. His eyes were a fiery red. Good men have tried this horse to ride, and all of them are dead. Now, I won't brag, but I rode this neck till his blood began to boil. Then I hit the ground and ate three pounds of good old western soil. Sing high, ho, whoopie, die, oh, ride him high and down you go. Sons of the western soil, sons of the western soil. So I swore by heck I'd break his neck for the jolt he gave my pride. I threw my noose on that old cayuse and once more took a ride. Well, he turned around and soon I found his tail where his head should be. So I says, says I, perhaps he's shy or he just don't care for me. Sing high, ho, look at die, oh, ride him high and down you go. Sons of the western soil, sons of the western soil. In town one day I chanced to stray upon old Sheriff Jim. For a hoop and a holler and a counterfeit dollar, I sold that nag to him. But when he plants the seat of his pants in Skyball's leather chair, while bet four bits when Skyball quits it, Jim just won't be there. Sing high, ho, hoop die, oh, ride him high and down you go. Sons of the western soil. Sons of the Western Sun. Oh, Skyball. <laughs> <laughs> All the cap, boys. And now, truthful Walter Winchell Jones brings you the party line news of the day. Pick up your receiver, folks. Hey, Hi, Gertrude. Hello, Smoke. Hello, Buttercup. <laughs> Flash, Lloyd Perryman, young tenderfoot here at the 1024, read in the papers that fish kill mosquitoes. That's right. <laughs> that, no doubt, is true. Fish do kill mosquitoes. But if Lloyd thinks he can take a fish to bed with him again like he did last night, we're going to have one less Gunsel cow hand here at the 1024. Mosquitoes or no mosquitoes. <laughs> Born to the saddle, I'll ride till I die. The night heard the cattle way up in the sky. When the last trail is traveled, it won't matter then. I'll live in the memory of places I've been. I was born to the saddle, I'll die punching cattle, I know. Yippee I, yippee oh, yippee oh. I'll roam on forever, my home is wherever. Yippee-yi, yippee-oh, yippee-oh. If the grass gets too short and the water holds dry, I'll stay in the saddle and root hog or die. I'm heading my pony for old Arizona goodbye. Yippee-yi, yippee-oh, yippee-oh. Now you take the city with the mansions and homes, all crowded together with no place to roam. And I'll take the ranges, the tall prairie hay, and mountains a hundred and ten miles away. I was born to the saddle, I'll die punching cattle, I know. Heading my pony for old Arizona goodbye. Thanks. Thanks. All you folks from coast to coast, it's time to drink our weekly toast. Well, that's good. 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 So get the Dr. Pepper out. I'll tell you what it's all about. Let's drink a toast to one grand guy, sir. I'm speaking of one Henry Kaiser. We fought the Kaiser in the last World War. Now it's us this Kaiser is fighting for. He's a hundred percent for Uncle Sam, and for Germany, he don't give a uh, rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> he can lay a keel at a quarter of seven and have the ship launched the next day at eleven. So look out, you Nazis, and look out, you nips. 
Here comes the Liberty Man with his Liberty Ships. <laughs> Art Gilmore with a special word for the parents. The child psychologists have made lots of rules for parents. In our house, we read the books and try to observe the rules. But there are times when plain, simple, practical methods seem to work better. For instance, the rule of reward for virtue and punishment for misdeeds really works. What reward do you suppose gets the best results? You guessed it. Just a nice, cold, ice-cold bottle of sparkling Dr. Pepper. When the youngster is good, she gets a very, very good Dr. Pepper. And when she is bad, she gets none. But believe me, she seldom misses her liquid bite between meals at 10, 2, and 4 o'clock. Fellow parents, I recommend this system to you. Also, Dr. Pepper, because it's wholesome and pure. A swell, energy-lifting snack for anyone's children. Anytime one is hungry, thirsty, and tired. Glenn D. Burke is a mighty fast boat with a mighty fast captain, too. He sits up there on the hurricane roof and he keeps his eyes on the crew. I can't stay here for the work's too hard. I'm bound to leave this town. I'll take my dubs and tote them on my back when the Glenn D. Burke comes down. Oh, for Louisiana, I'm bound to leave this town. I'll take my dubs and tote them on my back when the Glenn D. Burke comes down. Glenn D. Burke has a funny old crew and they sing the boatman's song. They burn the pitch and the pine knot too for to shove the boat along. The smoke goes up and the engine roars, the wheel goes round and round. So fare you well, I'll take a little ride when the Glenn D. Burke comes down. Oh, for Louisiana, I'm bound to leave this town. I'll take my belt and throw them on the back when the Glenn D. Burke comes down. First call, Dr. Pepper being served on the upper deck. Oh, for Louisiana, I'm bound to leave this town. I'll take my dubs and tote them on the back when the Glen de Burke comes down. All right, boys, saddle up. Time to be riding. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Dick Foran appears on the 1024 Ranch through the courtesy of Universal Pictures, the Sons of the Pioneers by arrangement with Republic Studios. Martha Mears is Miss Peggy, and this is Art Gilmore wishing you good luck and good going with Dr. Pepper at 10, 2, and 4. And remember to buy all you can of Uncle Sam's war bonds and stamps. Bye. <laughs> 